Hello Linux users, I'm Abhishek from Edsforce and I'm going to show you some cool LibreOffice tips and tricks that you can use to get more out of this awesome open source software. So let's begin. The first is editing PDF files. Did you know that you can edit PDF files with LibreOffice? Yes, you can totally do that. Just open it with LibreOffice and it will open in the LibreOffice Draw tool and then you can see that the PDF files, the text can be edited. It's not as neat as you would expect from a typical document, but at least you can edit the text line by line. And that's more than what you can ask for, isn't it? Since we're dealing with PDF, let me show you a neat little trick that's called hybrid PDF. You can always save your document as PDF and that's not really a secret. But editing that PDF file is a pain and this is where hybrid PDF comes in picture. With hybrid PDF, you can edit your document, the PDF document, as if it was a Word document itself. It's because the hybrid PDF contains all the text of the original document in the PDF itself as a comment. So if you edit the normal PDF, if you open it with LibreOffice, you will see that you can edit it, but it's not that good as the original Word file. You can still edit it, but well, it's, it's not as good as the original one. But right. if you open the hybrid PDF with LibreOffice Writer, it will be opened in the Writer tool and it will be the same as the original Word document you were working on. You can also use LibreOffice to create password protected files. Yeah, you can totally do that. All you need to do is just save the file. Just go to the save as option while saving the file. Like here, just click on save as. And then while you're saving the file, on the bottom you will see an option save with password. Just need to click it and then save. And there you can lock the document with a password. Oh, uh, you should remember the password because if you forget the password your document is lost you can do nothing about it so we just created a password protected file let's close it and try to open it again so i'm going to open it and there it is it's asking me to enter the password and when i enter i can open the document there's also a thing called read only document which is like a warning that the document should not be edited or if it is edited, it should be with cautious. So we have to go to the same save with password option like we just saw in the previous example. And then when you save it, you will see the same password screen again, but we're not going there. You have to go in the options here and there you can tick this open file read only. This will create a read only file for your Word document. You can also protect it with a password so that if anyone wants to edit it, he or she has to enter the password. In this case, I'm not going to password protect my read-only file. I'll just create a normal read-only file that will display a warning to the user who is reading the, this file. So I'll just save this file and I'm going to close it and open it again. Now you will see that the document has read only displayed in its name, which is an indication that this document cannot be edited directly. So here you just cannot edit it. Of course, you can go into edit mode and edit the document, but you have to be cautious with it that the original document wasn't meant to be edited. The next trick is when you are dealing with long documents. You probably already noticed that when you open a document in LibreOffice Writer, it is always open at the beginning, which is not a big deal if you are working on, on a small document. But if you are working on a long document, it might be handy if you know where you are editing your document. And you can do that in LibreOffice with this neat trick. Go into the option and in general, just provide a username. That's it just have to provide a name, it could be anything. And then you save it. 
What it does is it will create a new file with that username extension and it will try to remember where you were editing your document. So if I save it and quit the document right now and when I open the same document again the next time, it will open the document in the same line somewhere near where it was editing. The causal position is retained in this case. I know I told you that there are only five LibreOffice tips in this video, but I'm gonna throw a bonus tip for you. And that is using LibreOffice extension. You can extend the capability of your LibreOffice with some plugins called extensions. And there's a complete website for that where you can look for and search for and just browse through various extensions available. Like for example, this add-on or extension allows you to add page numbering without page breaks. So there is one thing which you should take in account that is the supported LibreOffice version. So in this case, LibreOffice 6.1 is supported, which is my current LibreOffice version. So I'll download this extension. Just download it, double click, and it will be open in LibreOffice Writer. Just OK it and it will be installed. I hope you like these LibreOffice tips and you're going to use it more like a pro with these tips. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more Linux tips and tricks. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao, ciao.